Shimano by some way is the largest sporting goods company in the world and is best known for its selection of group sets for every budget, no matter what you ride. Today, we'll be taking a look at all of the ones that you can fit to bikes with dropped bars, giving you all of the information you need to make your next purchase. But just what is a group set? Yeah. Well, these days it usually refers to the gears, brakes and drivetrain on your bike. But once upon a time, I expect before either of us were born, <laughs> the term also included hubs and a headset too. Those now tend to be left for aftermarket brands or the bike manufacturer themselves. Now, as you'd expect, Shimano is continually updating its group set with each product cycle, lasting about three years before the next generation is released. The newest features debut first on the top end stuff, that's Dura Ace, before eventually filtering down through the ranges. Whether you're buying a new bike or you're looking to build one from scratch, it's good to know what your options are. The more expensive group sets are lighter and have the best possible gear shifting, which is usually electronic. Yeah. Uh, as a general rule, you'll also find that they have more gears. For example, the new Dura Race and Ultegra now have 12, whereas the entry-level Claris only gets eight. Well, both of us like shiny, expensive things, so we'll start at the top with, of course, Dura Ace. This uh, latest generation with the R9200 prefix has joined these 12 speed party and is only available with electronic shifting. Well, first introduced in 2008, electronic group sets have proved to be extremely popular with precise gear changes, long battery life and good durability. Being the flagship product, Durace boasts the most expensive materials to keep weight to a minimum whilst retaining the durability necessary to withstand the rigors of professional racing and training. Let's be honest, neither of us need it. No. No, absolutely not. I mean, it must be doing something right at the World Tour because it's got, what, 13 out of the 18 teams mm. right now? The new generation not only increased the number of sprockets to 12, but it also introduced wireless technology. Well, semi-wireless technology, so that the wires between the mechs and the shifters are no longer required. That makes servicing of bikes with integrated cockpits so much easier. Compared to the outgoing 11-speed Dura Ace 9150 group set, which is still available to buy or purchase, by the way, mm. like you can still get your hands on that, Shimano say that they've made the rear shifting 58% faster and 45% faster at the front. It really is quite snappy and all the brains responsible for that, they're all now in the rear mech. That rear mech is now capable of handling either the 1134 or 1130 cassette options, and the chain set options have also changed with now three choices. You've got a 5440 for people with much bigger legs than us, a 5236 or a 5034. Unlike SRAM's 12 speed group set, this one is still compatible with the old Hyperglide free hubs. So you won't need to worry about upgrading your wheels. Well, that is good news yeah. because I'm sure when Shimano released the new spline pattern at the same time, it, I was, it I had was a few worried. people worried. I was so worried. Mm. Uh, changes also include the reshaped brake hoods, the disc rotors, they've just nicked that from the XTR mountain bike group set, and they've also increased the pad clearance on the hydraulic version. They've nicked the chains as well from the mountain hey. bike side. Yeah. No news yet whether all of this is enough to keep Chris Froome happy, but there is a room brake group set available. That could be the last ever, couldn't it? It definitely is a dying breed. And it was this yeah. generation that killed off the mechanical options. So you can mm. only get this as electronic. The Dura Race group set has an RRP of £3,631 without a power meter or an extra 650 with the dual-sided crank-based meter. God, you've got to have some cash. Well, in conclusion, Dura Ace is for riders who don't mind paying for the state-of-the-art tech and arguably the best overall shift of speed uh, and customizability as well on the market. Next on our list is Ultegra, now in R8100 form. And it's also available only as DI2. It has all the features of Dura Race, but made with slightly cheaper materials, which obviously makes it less expensive. Internals, such as motors and the electronics, they're all absolutely identical to Dura Race. They're simply housed in a slightly heavier material. Shimano themselves say that there is no sacrifice in performance, and basically this mirrors the technology from the R9200 group set. 
it too can run the same size cassettes and it's good to know that the 12 speed stuff is interchangeable between tiers so if you fancy a lighter chain set for example you could always just buy a durace version and replace it on well, your Ultegra bike. That probably tricked loads of people into just thinking you had Durace yes, all round. Because it's the biggest way it <laughs> says <Exactly>. Durace. <laughs> the new Ultegra group set start at £2,399. And if you want one with a power meter, then good luck, really. Yeah. As we don't <laughs> expect to see any heading to the UK anytime soon. It too is available for disc brake or rim brake bikes. And although it is rather expensive, it does save over a grand when compared to its bigger brother, Durace and it's only actually 262 grams heavier. Wow. Um, if you're not all that fussed by having 12 gears, then you might want to look out for an older Ultegra R8000 group set. That was available in electronical or mechanical shifting, rim brake or hydraulic disc brakes, and you can still find some very good deals on it. Shimano is now the cheapest way to get yourself an electronic group set from the Japanese giant. But that doesn't mean that you're missing out on the most important features. The latest DI2 stuff is 12-speed, wireless, and looks pretty much identical to the more expensive Ultegra and Jura Ace models. But it isn't all good news. The move to DI2 has put another nail in the coffins of mechanical gears and rim brakes, as this latest model is disc and DI2 only. What you get here for your £1,730 is the same tech as you'll find in the more expensive Ultegra and Jura Ace group sets. It connects wirelessly to the shifters. It has Bluetooth connectivity built in, so you can hook up your phone without needing to buy the D-Fly unit. And most practically for the majority of us, it'll run with a whopping 36 tooth cassette. The other cassette option is an 11 to 34 tooth, and Shimano is pairing this with a 5236 and 5034 tooth chain rings. If you want a proper look at the new 105 Di2 group set, then check out our video, which can be found in the description below. Shimano's fourth tier group set, Tiagra, last had a major update quite a while back in 2016, but Shimano did throw in some tweaks and extra options in 2019. Those changes included making it look a lot like the 105 group set. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a forearm crank set, new shifters, and all the gear and brake cables are now hidden underneath the bar tape. I have to say, this is a really nice looking group set. Well, it flat, looks like 105. It <laughs> looks like 105, yeah. As well as the drop bar kit, Tiagra is also available with flat bar levers and shifters. And it works brilliantly on commuter and city bikes as well. The deciding feature between this and 105 is that Tiagra is 10 speed instead of 11. Now, Shimano reckon that most people buying Tiagra won't be racing their bikes with it on. Uh, so therefore you don't really need the high gears. So it's got a 5236, 5034, or a 503930 chain set options. Whoa. So our first triple of the I, day. I love a triple chain set. <laughs> With all of those crossover gears that Hated. you could be in. Hated. Oh, come on. My first road bike had a triple chain set. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> Tiagra comes in with an RRP of £533 for the rim brake version and £715 with disc brakes. So it's not actually a whole lot cheaper than 105. No. So buy Shimano Tiagra if you want good value and performance mm. and don't mind not having 11 speed. But we reckon that if you shop around and are prepared to spend about 100 quid extra, about that, then yeah. you could get the 105. Yeah. Underneath Tiagra is Shimano Sora group set, which had a major facelift in 2017. It now matches the higher group sets visually with its forearm chain set and a similar gray finish. So this is a nine speed group set, but it's still excellent money mm. and it does well about 90% <laughs> yeah. of what the more expensive group sets do. It does weigh a bit more though. Yes, uh, you get proper dual control gear shifters with the brake lever changing down the cassette and the small lever changing to a higher gear. That's essentially the same system as you used to find on mechanical Dura Ace just a few years ago. So not bad. Once again, you have double and triple chain set options and the rear derailleur will accommodate an 1132 tooth cassette along with a 5034 compact chain set. Glad you got to say that. Ooh. This is a really good one to look out for on entry level road bikes as the performance is brilliant and it will serve you well for years. And a Sora group set only costs about 400 quid. So it's an excellent one to pick if you're building up a winter bike. 
Claris is Shimano's most affordable road bike group set and is what you can expect to see on road bikes below about 750 quid. The most recent update to the group set saw Claris get the forearm fixed axle chain set design of the higher end group sets. Uh, Claris really does have the quality feel of the more expensive stuff. Yeah, I had this on a bike on a holiday. Really? And I have to say that I was dead impressed with the shifting. Oh, it's, it's one of those group sets, I think, that just kind of works, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah, so this is an eight-speed group set, and it's aimed at beginners and new cyclists. And so you have triple and compact chain set options, along with an 1134 cassette. Getting up climbs won't be a problem with the lowest gearing available with Claris. I have to say, while we do love this group, so it's not actually very easy to find as a whole. Um, if you assemble it from parts, it'll be about 300 quid, something like that. It's another cheap one to look for. So that completes the named stuff, but there is a few spanners in the works other than this one. Uh, firstly, we have the okay. RS 785 Di2 leaves and brakes. This was the first road specific offering from Shimano and it's supposedly in between Durace and Ultegra level. Mm. It got center lock brakes. I really love it. I hate it. I know you hate it's it. Ugly. But it's ugly. It's got like, those shifters. They're just yeah. ginormous. I like shiny things and they're big shiny no, things. I'm very glad that Shimano have worked out how to get a hydraulic reservoir and shifting into something smaller. Yeah. I mean, what I will say about these is that I've used them through three winters now and four cyclocross seasons they've never let me down they've never broken they've handled all of that mud jet washing they've been brilliant and mm. vanderpol used them as i was kind of getting into cyclocross so they've got a kind of soft spot just here <laughs> okay so you had the di2 ones i did yeah so if you didn't have di2 then you'd want the rs685 which is the same calipers, mm. but they do the mechanical bit instead of DI2. Yeah, these were mm. another brilliant set that we saw on so many bikes. And actually, we continue to see them on bikes. Um, they just really, really work well. The braking's brilliant on them, and the shifting is actually accurate. Then there is a special place reserved in hell for the person that designed <laughs> the RS405 brakes and levers. These were Tiagra level disc brake option uh, launched in 2016 and they were uncomfortable, they looked ugly, they were difficult to bleed, they gave vague shifting and wooden braking. Do you feel strongly about that? Yes, I had them on a bike, oh, on, on a test bike. They were awful. They completely ruined okay, the feel okay, okay, of okay, a lovely okay. Canon. Okay, <laughs> GRX. Oh, GRX, yeah. <laughs> Shimano's gravel bike component series that sits off to one side of the main road bike component range, but we're not actually going to talk about that. We'll no. do that in another video because there's a hell of a lot to get through. So stay tuned for that one. Yes, absolutely. Now, I have been uh, riding on 12 speed and I'm not going to tell you whether it's worth it. <laughs> ah. You'll also have to wait for my review. Um, that'll be coming up on the site and we'll also have that in video form. Altegra is one of our favorite group sets. We both have it in its DI2 form. If you want to check out six of the best Altegra bikes, there's a video popping up right now. And remember to like and subscribe. We will see you in the next one.